Hello, my name is Julie Ursi, Solution Advisor, Platform and Technology at SAP. In this video, I want to show you how you can enhance the value of your success factors data with the powerful SAP Analytics Cloud dashboards and analysis, leveraging the BW4HANA data platform. Since August 2019, BW4HANA contains HR business content for workforce management and performance management. You simply activate the business content connected to the success factor system either in real time or by loading the data, and then you consume the pre built data models with SAP Analytics Cloud. Success factors customers already have embedded analytics in their solution for reporting. However, for many analytical use cases, they still need modern data warehousing capabilities to cope with historical data, for example, for comparison and trend identification and data from other systems like finance information. Using BW4 to connect to success factors has several important advantages. First of all, you can combine and enrich HR data from success factors with data coming from other solutions like ERP to get a full overview of your company workforce. Secondly, BW4 allows you to access data in near real time instead of duplicating your data or waiting for data loads to finish which often are a huge frustration for both IT and business in traditional data warehouses. Also, you can take advantage of the rich data warehousing functionalities in BW4. Powerful KPI calculations, time dependency, slowly changing dimensions, just to name a few. And of course, all the HANA advanced analytics engines like graph, spatial and predictive that allow you to get more value out of your data. Finally, BW4HANA now contains business content that can be easily set up and consumed in SAP Analytics Cloud to give you a head start on the development of your dashboards and analysis. It now literally takes hours to start building reports on powerful HR KPIs without the need to first build complex models to structure the data. With the HR business content in BW4, SAC can add even more value by connecting live to all the enriched data in BW4. By connecting live to BW4, you can leverage your BW investment and provide your users with analytics beyond data discovery. Bex queries can be reused and all its rich functionalities can be consumed in SAC, like hierarchies, variables, structures, etc. You get access not only to the HR data in success factors, but all the data sources in your company. The direct query consumption avoids data duplication and inconsistencies. You can access data in real time, including the success factors data through the direct connection in BW4, but also archive data in nearline storage or big data in a data lake. By reusing the existing authorization concepts, you do not have to rebuild the authorizations and maintain them double. So I what I want to do in a demo is show you how to do the integration between success factors, BW4 and SAP Analytics Cloud and some key advantages of using this live integration. First of all, we can connect to success factors with SAP Analytics Cloud through BW4HANA to build powerful analytics on the HR data. We can enrich the data by adding information from other data sources. This can be SAP and non-SAP data, even unstructured data coming from Twitter feeds or Hadoop. On top of that, we can connect in real time to BW4HANA from SAP Analytics Cloud to make an in-depth analysis or build a dashboard based on the data coming not only from HR, but also from other sources of information. Let's have a look at how it works. Let's have a look first in our BW for HANA system. When we activate the business content, we can find it back in the folder structure and we can access the different models and objects that are available for success factors business content. We link the business content simply to the success factor source system and we load the data or we connect in real time in order to visualize the data in SAP Analytics Cloud. We have three different types of objects available. First of all, we have the master data, all the important objects like employee, job, classification, etc. We can find back the data flow object, which contains all the different flows to load the different objects. There are attributes and texts available to load into the objects. Once master data is loaded, we can also take a look at the 
uh, transactional data, we have workforce management and performance management. Here as well, we have a data flow that shows us how the data is loaded into the headcount and events composite provider. This is the top layer on which we have built a query that can be used to connect to a SAP Analytics Cloud. Let's take a look at the query. It contains a filter on time, and it also contains many different objects that we can then use to visualize. Same goes for performance management, where we have, again, a data flow and uh, a query available to report on. Now let's have a look at SAP Analytics Cloud and what happened there. Business content is not available in SAP Analytics Cloud for the BW4 content, but we can easily connect to it and leverage the objects available in BW4. I have built three models on top of the three different queries that come with the business content in BW4. The models are very easily created. I will show you later in the demo. On top of these models, I then built a story that visualizes all the data. The same filter that is available in the query in BW4, we now get in SAP Analytics Cloud to fill in. I've selected a period from January 2018 to August 2019. And here what we can see is a dashboard that shows detailed headcount metric information. We see current headcount and the difference between last year. We see an evolution over time. We see some interesting charts that show what our headcount looks like in our company. We see also a waterfall chart. And if we make selections, we impact not only the chart itself, but we can also impact the entire dashboard, showing us even more information. There's other information also available for employee events. There are filters that we can, uh, uh, there's filters that we can use there's tables that we can fill. And all of this, both stories in SAP Analytics Cloud and activating the business content in BW4 can be done in hours. I will now show you how to connect from SAC to the BW4 query. We're going to create a model. We get data from a data source and it's going to be a live connection to BW4 HANA so we don't load the data into the cloud again. We choose a live connection, the SFA business content queries. Let's pick the headcount and events one. We see here all the measures that are available in the query in BW4 and also all the dimensions. Once the model is saved, we can then easily leverage all the data in there. Let's quickly create a story. We're going to use the headcount and events model that we just created to start analyzing the data. Here we fill in the selection period again. And we have here all the measures. Let's pick some dimensions to visualize. And let's show, for example, the active headcount head start of the period per age group. We can then copy to our SEC story and we're off. Now all that's left to do is make our analysis or continue to build our dashboard. So that concludes my demo. I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching.